Hi everybody, it's Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. I have an order. Um, this is towels. These are um, bath towels, but these are going to be used for a dog show. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm going to move my camera around. Um, I have a client who she has show dogs, and um, these are going to be the towels that are going to be laying um, on the... Um, I guess on a on a cot or something like that where the dogs are going to be on um she has these um hounds they're gorgeous dogs by the way um she has some champion um hounds and stuff so i am making the towels for her dog show and this is like coming out really good she designed this logo it's beautiful i had it digitized fazzle did that for me and right now what I'm doing is I'm doing um, three towels. So these are towels that are by Katie Spade. Um, I didn't even know she had towels. Um, you know, I know her for the pocketbooks and stuff. So anyway, they are pretty, pretty thick. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do this. Now you can do this on a single needle, okay? Cause every time I do projects, even if I use my uh, multi-needle machine, I always like to Think about, you know, those with the flatbed machines too. So um, let me show you exactly how I hoop this and what I use, okay? Now I use tearaway stabilizer and then I also use the topping on top of it, okay? Now I forgot to spray the back of this in order to get the topping off, but I will do that at the next one. I have another one that is embroidering on the six needle machine um, and I'm going to hoop this and put this on the 10 needle machine so that way I can get this order done. Um, but let me show you exactly how I am hooping this towel, okay? So that way you guys can see how I do it. Now, um, I take the towel, okay? And what I do is I fold it in half. And when I fold it in half, I use um, chalk. I like chalk, chalk is a lot better. It really doesn't stain anything. And I bought these and I'll link them so you guys can see. And I happen to really like these. These are called Carmel and they're like Taylor chalk and they're like um, wax based. They work really well and I really like them because I tried the disappearing ink and the disappearing ink, I don't like it because once you iron it on and it hits cold temperature, the ink reappeared. And I was just like, I was kind of like, okay, that's not good. So um, I like this. Um, it comes in all these different colors, which I think is like really cool because you never know what type of fabric you're going to be working on and you want your lines to show. So because of this color, um, I chose the white chalk. So I use this white chalk and um, I use this to mark the um the middle so what i do is i actually just fold it and then i just take the chalk and then i just pass it over okay on here i hope you can see what i'm doing oh i don't know if you can anyway um here let me move this a little back okay that way you guys can see because I, I can't see what you guys can see anyway so um i just fold it in half okay and then once i fold it in half I just take the chalk and then I just put it over here, okay? Now I have my Mighty Hoop and this is my eight by 13 Mighty, I mean, I have my, my hooping station. This is my eight by 13 Mighty Hoop. I'm gonna use um, tearaway stabilizer on the towel and put this one here. It doesn't cover the whole thing, but that's okay because the design's not coming off on the edges anyway, so. I'm gonna do this, okay. And then since I have this in the middle, I kind of like always put my finger like right in the middle of it. And then when I scoot it over, I kind of push it and I know where the middle is right here, okay? So I kind of like, in a way, you could say I eyeball, I, eyeball it, you could say, but um, Let's see, let me try to do this again. Make sure that it's good. Here it is. Okay, this one just looks a little crooked, but it's not. Okay, there you go. All right, so then I just line it up the best I can. And uh, the first time that I hooped it, I, you know, these two little hoop grooves really work. And I just put my fingers in here to make sure that it's really nice and straight. And it is. 
and I can feel it that it's right smack in the middle. Okay, and then I'm just going to take my topping and I'm not going to use the base on here because the thing is I want this to be as big as possible. And if you use the basting, it kind of takes away from the size because it'll base first and then the design has to be inside the base. I don't want to do that. I, I will just put the uh, topping right on it. So I have the topping and I hope you see everything. Here, let me move this right here so you guys can see. Okay, so here's my topping and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut 13 inches off of here. So I wanna make sure that I have plenty. Looks like it's long, but I got plenty of this stuff. The, a roll of this lasts like forever and this is something that I use a lot. I cut about 13 and a half. I use this a lot because I do a lot of towels, you know. Towels is my thing. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on top. And got my hoop and I'm going to pop it in. There you go. Nice and good, sturdy, got it. All right, so now I have to put it into the machine. All right, so I am going to, and I'm sorry, guys. I know I am moving you guys all over the place here. And I'm going to leave you guys here so you guys can probably see. All right, so um, this was my test stitch. I did a test stitch on a kitchen towel. It came out really nice. And then what I'll just do is I'll just give this to her because I, I bet you she'll probably like to put this on her, maybe her stove or something like that in the house. So I'm just going to gift this to her, um, but this was just a test stitch that I did because I wanted to make sure that um, the design came out really good because we did have a little bit of problems with the design, but that's okay. So now I'm going to lift this up. I mean, Fazl was, was great. He was able to fix it to me right away. Okay, this lifted, but I got it back down. Let me see, I'm gonna make sure it's straight here. Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Because I saw that it lifted a little bit, so. All right, so these towels are heavy, I gotta tell you. They are pretty, pretty heavy, which is why I prefer to like do them from here. All right, so this is one of the reasons why I really like the um, 1055 because it came with this table. I don't believe that the version before this machine came with a table. And this is another reason why I like my rotary table. Now I wanna make sure you see everything and you do. Okay, the reason why I really like this rotary table is like I said, I can move it around the room as I work. And I think that is like, golden and i'm actually thinking about buying another one because it would be cool if i could probably have one here and then have one roll around i don't know we'll see um i am running out of space so <laughs> but um they're very 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 good tables okay so i can see if the line is behind there and let me go this way yeah i sometimes kind of wish I had a bigger room, but it's okay. All right, got that snapped in. Now I gotta go make sure I have the other side snapped in pretty good. And I always like to make sure that it's nice and comfortable. You know, that it's not like snagging or uncomfortable in any way because the towel has to move freely so and I think there it is it's snapping they're awesome okay now I have this here I always make sure I'm doing it on the right side because I accidentally embroidered on the opposite and that wasn't good the customer was very understanding but I didn't let her pay for it because that, that was wrong. I, I should, you know, but it taught me a valuable lesson. Double check. 
it's like that that saying they said measure twice cut once well i should have measured my hooping twice and then hit the embroidery button so we need to come up with a saying for that you know all right so i have this in here this seems pretty good i got this one going i have um this is a six needle machine and what i have underneath is i got an extender and the extenders are really great because it kind of helps with the weight of towels and blankets and all that kind of stuff this already started embroidering. I just stopped it midway so that I could kind of like talk to you guys about how I'm hooping this and everything. So um, I am now going to scan this puppy. And that's another feature that I really love about this machine because I use this scanning capability so much. I mean, it's like, it's my favorite because I know exactly where the item is going to be embroidered. So it's like really, really cool. Okay, so I can see right off the bat that I need to lower this drawing. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And that's perfect, okay? And the reason why I'm doing that, let me scan it one more time, is because I wanna make sure that they all align the same way as possible. Because if you notice, there's just a very little bit of gap it's like half of an inch from the last um, line on the towel. So I wanna make sure that they all look the same, okay? And stuff. So I got it in that one and I wanna make sure this really came out nice, I'm impressed. Okay, so I really want to, uh, these look really, really nice. I'm thinking about um, embroidering some towels for the house. Okay, so let's see, that looks, mm, let me just move it up just a little bit more. I think that'll be fine. Um, I think it is okay. Why does it look a little bit like that? I think it's just this, it's just this. All right, I'm gonna hit the press the button. I'm going to let it embroider. And I am also going to continue embroidering this one. So yeah, another day, another order, okay? so. Going here, going here, here, here. Let's get to work. Okay guys, I finished my order, all three of them. One of them did not come out great. I'm gonna make sure I point this out to the customer. I always like to be flat out honest. I was able to take a marker and just type it in. I, I have, it's, I don't know what's going on. I think it has to do with my six needle machine uh, because I done it twice on the 10 needle machine and it came out perfect, okay? So this is what I'm going to do this time. And I wanna show you guys what I do. I got this tip from Liliana, okay? Um, when you have this topping, okay? Um, she did a video, which was really awesome. And what she did was, she said, what you do is you turn the towel over, right? And then what you're gonna do 
And let me just uh, fold this really nice. I'm, I'm a neat freak, so I like things to be kind of neat. So <laughs> never mind me, you know, I'm just like that. Take this up, post the thing. There you go. All right, nice and neat. You guys can see? Yep, you sure can. All right. So what I'm going to do is, all this is is a spray water, right? Now, as you can see, I still have my water solubilis, uh water stabilizer on top right but what i'm going to do is i'm going to spray water in back this is really the best way to do it um all you have all you need is just a little patience bottle of water and what it does is it will dissolve everything in here and you'll be able to just really peel it out so this is water like i said and i'm thinking about getting a new spray bottle because i see some spray bottles that it's like a mist but as you can see, I am spraying this on the back of all of the uh, and we're just gonna let it sit for a little bit. Okay, I got some in here too. Just gonna let it sit. Make sure I get all of it. Okay. Remember, it's just water. That's all it is. Okay. And, you know, dollar store little thing. I think, I don't know. I don't think even think this was, I think I got several of these for a dollar. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit. That's all I'm going to do. Just leave it alone. We're just going to wait about maybe, uh, a minute or so uh, this is like really nice and wet okay so it's fine um, I'm antsy so I'm just gonna spray just a little bit more especially around here there you go there okay and we're gonna just let it do its thing and stuff pretty upset a little bit about this one right here. I don't think my customer is going to mind, but I always like to tell people up front that, you know, I mean, I'll buy her another towel. It's not a big deal. I'll get another towel and I'll embroider it and I'll even refund the money for this. Um, you know, but I'm going to let her know. I don't think she's really going to mind it, though. Um, she seems really easygoing and stuff. I mean, it's not like it's like, blah, you know, but um, we'll see. And as you can see, I did not use the water stabilizer like i'm doing right now so you can still see some of the stabilizer here but i know that once she washes it that'll all go away and stuff so this came out really cute i kind of like it this is the one that came out with the 10 needle machine and it's it's more solid sorry i know i'm moving around the camera a lot um see the u and stuff and then when i show you this one look at the u see it's a little it's a little off so that's okay all right so I am now going to go back on here, okay, and we're going to take away, sorry guys, um, I'm going to take away the um, topping, okay, and so this is like uh, really the best way to do it, all right, so let's see what happens, okay, so I can show you guys, so as you can see, look how easy this lifts, okay, see that, very, very easy, all I have to do is just throw this out, Go in here, lifts, not a problem, lift, not an issue. Look at how easy, look at how easy. And all I have to do is just go like this. They're gone, gone. Look at how easy. All it took was a couple of minutes and look at that. Perfect, right? Came out cute, 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 cute. Anyway, guys, I think she's going to be happy. Um, the only thing is I do have to talk to her about this towel. I want to let her know. Um, I don't like, um, you know, doing uh, bad quality work. It's just not my style. I just don't like it, okay? But um, anyway, I think she's really going to like it. The towels came out really cute. It's going to look really nice in the dog show. So, guys, hope you like this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. 
please um, subscribe and join us on Fridays. I do embroidery happy hour every Friday at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We also have a Facebook group, and the Facebook group is called Happy Hour Adventures. I mean, um, yeah, Embroidery Happy Hour Adventures. So, you know, join the Facebook group. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of nice people out there that help each other out with the projects and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, here we go. So, anyway, guys, I am going to sign off because I am going to start packaging this up and email the customer to let her know that this is ready for pickup tomorrow. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.